Okay, what I want to show you here is this uh, neat new uh, incense burner that I created that is uh, better than most of the other ones out on the market, uh, ones that I've seen on Amazon.com at least, where it's just a little uh, pot with a grate over the top of it, and you take a little piece of uh, charcoal like this, and you light it, and uh, whatever. I mean, that just doesn't work anywhere near as well as this one right here. So I was looking at and this is what I had. It's still hottish right there and uh, basically it's just a little pit you know a little a uh, you know box basically on it it didn't have these holes on here before and these four holes on each side weren't there before we just had these holes right here and uh, you know one's getting better by the way and uh, what happens is you would just uh, take some wire and put it through there and use that and uh, you could just uh, tote it around without burning your fingers. Right now I'm carrying it with a pair of pliers. But uh, today I create one of these here. And what this is, is a, uh, hold on a sec, if I can, it's HTR, I don't know. Whatever. I was trying to see if I could get the uh, light on here to, so you can see better what's going on. There we go. You see how what's going on there? Oh, kind of an automatic light. You see what's going on there is I got some pieces of metal folded on the inside that uh, are also holding a uh, aluminum uh, screen. And what that does is it holds the screen down. So I got uh, four on the top. Con machine. The four on the top, uh, lights on automatic if you're wondering why it's going on and off. And uh, holds the uh, charcoal right in there. And then on the bottom, you got little holes there for the air to flow underneath. So when you put it in like this, right here, what happens is, is that the smoke is allowed to come up through the uh, top end right here. Yes. So the smoke's allowed to flow in from the top, and uh, <clears throat> this to flow out from the top, and then from the sides and uh, from the round here on this rim, the air can be sucked back under. And this uh, higher elevation here also prevents the smoke from uh, being from being sucked and induced back into the thing, and uh, cutting down on the efficiency of the burning. So I wanted to show you an example of just how powerful this thing is because I was actually pretty blown away by uh, just how good this stuff is. So what I have here is uh, some dark copal from incense on the way. I see it's uh, zoomed out, I mean zoomed in. Right here, this is a uh, copal. It's a type of uh, sap from certain type of trees, uh, only in certain parts of the world uh, I've read which is pretty neat, I've heard of. Like, looks like crushed coral or something. This uh, resin here. It smells pretty good though. Yeah, it looks kind of like crushed coral or something like that. Really good stuff. I'm going to break off a small piece for you to see. See that tiny little piece here. What we're going to do is we're going to drop that in there. Okay. Now I gotta fish out that tiny little piece. You know what? Uh, it turns out it landed um, a little undesirable here. But uh, we're gonna do that again. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna break off another piece because what it did is it bounced right off the thing and uh, fell out. So we're gonna put another piece in here. So we just got this small little uh, chunk here. And it's amazing because it's like a jet or something. Watch this. It just sucks the air right through. <laughs> Whew. Man, look at that. That's incredible because all you got the air coming from the sides, you got the air coming from the outside. So what happens is it's just on demand, you know, uh, performance coming out of there. Now, if you just had something like what I had before with uh, without this little uh, ring here on the inside to uh, separate out the two different flows. 
kind of like you see on that vortex turbine, except this is in reverse where it's going from the outside in. You know, we have here, if you separate those two out, you don't have a conflicting of the air, it doesn't, and it doesn't cut down on the efficiency. It doesn't cut down on the amount of oxygen flow, because if you got this stuff going back in to be burned, it doesn't burn. You know, it's, the, it's been already spent. But this right here is just kind of like a, like a jitter or something. This is really rolling out. Look at that sucker. Look at that thing. It's coming out, that little tiny piece of copal right there and just goes out, he's quickly burned out and now it's gone again you got that giant chunk there so this thing burns really quickly, it's very efficient and uh, I really like it for uh, burning incense, I mean it's really cool freshens up the room a bit, I really like it and uh... get her flies and just crack the thing I put a giant piece on here. I gotta go buy some tongs too, just to like some little metal tongs or something like that instead of this, what you see right here. Because uh, sticking my fingers in here or a pair of pliers or something like that just isn't doing the trick. Use the lighter to uh, light the charcoal. Look at that. This is really going. Look at the freaking power of that thing. I mean, it's giving it all the oxygen it needs, and uh, this trickle's already been lit. I was uh, screwing around with it upstairs. Wow. Just look at that. Giant thing. Of, it's woof. Look at that thing. Whew. Man. It's a giant torrent of uh, smoke coming out of there. So, I hope you liked the video. Uh, this is really a neat design. It's not very hard to make. You know, I just uh, cut some slats in and fold it underneath. The, uh, what is it called? The screen there, the piece of screen. has got four pieces underneath it that are folded, uh, you know, folded, you know, like this or whatever. And then it's got four other pieces that are laying over the top of the uh, screen. So it's being held in place. And before I was trying to rivet the thing, I'm like, you know what, I could just have it like that so if I ever wanted to take it out I wouldn't have to drill through the rivet you could just from the under from the underside what you do is just peel the uh, pieces of uh, copper sheeting backward and uh, just you know pull them you know from this this way to this way and then you can just take the screen out and whatever and service it if you need to clean it off whatever and uh, it's also at, works as a sort of an ashtray too because you still got that little piece there that little uh, height Still got uh, quite a bit of clearance there. Space between where the bottom of the uh, charcoal is, right here, and where the bottom of this is. So you got quite a bit of space here, and that allows the ash to uh, collect. And then when you're done with it, you can just take this thing out. Very simply, you just take it out and dump it. Yeah. So it's a very interesting and uh, nifty device. Came up with it. I was thinking about uh, doing this for some time now. Man, that smell is good. It's kind of funky. It's like, kind of tastes like, uh, not taste, but uh, kind of smells like pine. And, uh, I don't know. It's real good. But that's what we got burning here. <laughs> like, look at the smoke rolling out of that thing. But uh, it's very simple to make. Just need a few uh, pop rivets, some uh, copper sheeting. I prefer copper. It doesn't uh, oxidize very. Uh, it doesn't oxidize, you know, it can oxidize, you know, into that green form, but what I'm trying to say is that it's not like rust where it uh, corrodes and degenerates the uh, metal very rapidly like you'd find with carbon steel, which is what it's sitting on right now. And uh, if this ever gets, you know, even a little bit of moisture, as you can see, like little rust spots here and stuff, I don't like that. Copper is pretty resilient stuff, and it's also very soft, very flexible. This stuff is a pretty thin gauge, so you could even use just, uh, yeah, right here. Use just some basic little scissors to cut this stuff. I mean, it's very, very malleable, very uh, forgiving, very workable stuff. You know, with the sheet metal, if you ever get into that or whatever, you'll find that uh, I think uh, some metals you can bend them once, or you can, or you can't even bend them at all, and uh, after that they're unbendable. 
Otherwise, they, you know, they'll, they'll break if you try and bend it back. Like uh, I've heard about stainless that you can only you know, just bend it once. If you try and do it, you know, bend it back the other way or something like that, it'll just snap and you're out of a piece of sheet metal. But uh, copper is not like that. And the copper is pretty forgiving stuff. Look at that piece. It's still smoking. There's like just a residue. It's like this little residue or something that's probably left on the very top of the charcoal. The charcoal is kind of burning out a little bit. It's just still giving out this plume. I mean, it's incredible. So, if you ever want to try and uh, spruce up the place and make the house smell good or something like that, you know, you can just uh, get a little bit of this stuff. I got my stuff at uh, incenseontheway.com and uh, you know, kind of support local and stuff like that, wherever that local may be. Ah! Yeah, I see that. Hold on a sec so I can show you. The frankincense, the piece, little piece of uh, copal or frankincense or whatever is burning here, it just uh, leaned up against the uh, thing there. It's now starting to melt. I'll you know, bring in the sunlight here. I'll even fluorescent light. Just a bit. Get uh use this as a pointer. Right here. Right here at the uh, on this side. It's leaning up against there and it's uh, starting to smoke up real good. Look at that, so even a little tiny piece. I mean we could get a little tiny piece and put it on there and just it's gonna have this giant column of smoke coming right out of it. I mean, it's amazing. I was testing it up stairs just now, and uh, didn't want to set off the smoke alarms or whatever. But uh, this thing's going off really good. Wow! And it smells good too. See the basement smelling all bent. I guess it smells good too. So we've got that going on. See, you know, it's like tree sap or something. It's copal. It's kind of like beige gray on the outside but on the inside it's like you can tell it looks like uh, some kind of amber or something it looks like some uh, Jurassic Park even with the uh, mosquito and the amber ish pretty cool really nice stuff dark copal I think this is from uh, Peru or something like that mm -hmm. okay so I hope you liked that video I'm going to probably let this thing just burn out because it's going to, holy smoke, this is really going down. Let's see if this uh, fits in here. Actually, I'm going to have to strip the wire first. I got some uh, solid wire now, too. Uh, 14 gauge, though. This is for... Uh, this is going to be for a later experiment. This is going to be for the earth batteries now because the earth batteries don't... I mean, not earth batteries, sorry. Crystal batteries. I'm going to put those in instead of using the uh, rubber insulated wire because I don't like the, uh, the rubber doesn't... Rubber kind of helps to uh, contaminate the uh, cell and I don't like that. As well as uh, it probably is going to stink up in the toaster oven or whatever when I try and dehydrate them. So. Hope you liked the video. And uh, stay tuned for more stuff. This thing is really going to town. So, that's the end of this.